Hello everybody, today I will show you the portfolio that got me hired as a web developer. Let's go! <laughs> okay. Okay, so uh, let's just jump right in. So this is uh, the portfolio. I uh, created this when I was 18 years old and had just finished high school and I was looking for a job as a front-end developer. And spoiler alert, it actually happened. I became a front-end developer and I have been working happily ever since. So this is the portfolio I applied with. Uh, at the top, I have some info text about myself. Uh, one thing to note here is that I wrote very little about myself. I think that was a good choice, actually. Being uh, so young and not having any real experience, I think uh, acting a bit mysterious was uh, to my favor. <laughs> so yeah, here I say, Hi, I'm Isaac Solheim, a front-end developer focused on creating beautiful and user-friendly applications while <laughs> Well, writing clean code. Okay, so this was written before ChatGPT was around, so I came up with this myself. And uh, is it good? Is it bad? I mean, I don't really want to critique uh, this stuff today. I just want to show it off more. So, okay, J just leave it be. Then I have this uh, hover eff or like scrolling effect uh, when going down, uh, which then showcase showcases my projects just straight off the bat. I also think this was a good design choice, just uh, simply because this is what uh, an employer would want to see. They would want to see your projects. So here I have uh, five projects that we'll check out today. A pizza restaurant, a programming blog, an e-commerce website, a burger restaurant, <laughs> and an info website. So yeah, those are all of the projects. Uh, we'll look at those in a second. Then I have a skills section uh, where I list of uh, all of my skills, I guess. Now, looking back at this, I really don't think this uh, belongs on a portfolio website at all. Uh, like uh, saying that you know HTML5 and CSS is kind of like uh, no-brainers uh, when you are a front-end developer. So yeah, I wouldn't really include this section. And also, this is just so over than I think just creating cards with the uh, logos that hover up. It's like, uh, yeah, not cool at all. So I would drop this. Then at the bottom, I have a contact section that uh, was never used. I mean, I guess it looks OK, but uh, I would also consider dropping this. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. Let's uh, look at the projects. Uh, so first of all, the pizza restaurant. <laughs> So this is actually a kind of a funny story. Uh, before I created this, I rode my bicycle down to the local pizza place uh, and I had printed out this brochure that I showed them and it basically said, you should have a website and I can create one for you. And they were like, Oof, well, it says here we should have a website. And uh, they actually ended up buying a website from me for around $200 at the time, which for me... Uh, was a lot of money, so I was super happy. And uh, yeah, I had actually made this website beforehand. So the next day I rode my bike back and I was like, okay, the website is done, check it out. And uh, yeah, but anyways, there are some scrolling effects here. I mean, I guess this looks nice for a restaurant website. It's very easy, it's just a static website with some text, I mean. And uh, yeah, so that's the first project. Then we have the programming blog. Yeah, I actually can't show you this project because I have not gotten it uh, up and running and I can't really be bothered with it. But uh, just uh, imagine a very uh, norm core programming blog. It uh, looked good and had uh, a tag system and uh, I had written one article about this uh, hosting a React app for free using Firebase. So yeah, I actually do think this is the best type of project you could uh, create for yourself if you are looking to create a portfolio as a developer. Having a, a blog, I think, uh, shows that you're interested in programming. You also get to practice your writing skills, which is always nice. And uh, yeah, it's a good, uh, good project to have. Then I had a e-commerce website, uh, which I have right here. This is not 
uh, in production by any means. It was just showing off that I knew some state management. So uh, for this website, I used the Redux and React for the front end uh, and created this shopping cart system, which yeah works as you would expect. So uh, yeah, the buy button doesn't do anything and it's just to showcase that, you know, I could handle state. So also think that this was kind of a nice project to have. Then we have yet another restaurant website, this time with some more fun design, I would say. I used a CSS framework for this website. It was called ness.css, I think. And uh, yeah, other than that, again, kind of easy. It's just a static website showing off some stuff, but I guess that's what I wanted to show off that I could do. Lastly, another static website, the info website. So here I use another uh, CSS framework that introduced some animations. And yeah, right now this looks very broken and like, I, I think I just used some screenshots and <laughs> took this horrible uh, Photoshop cutouts of some skaters and wrote some uh, random text about them. Anyways, I actually think this uh, also was a decent project to have as it it required very little to set up and get running. Okay, so that's basically it. That was my portfolio that I used. Looking back at it, it feels very uh, easy in a way, very simple you could say, uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but I definitely feel like this screams junior developer. So, uh, yeah, and it's not anything wrong with that. At this time, I was very much a junior developer. So, you know what? I'm happy with uh, how it looks now that I look back at it. And I hope this maybe uh, opened your eyes a bit to what is required to get a job as a developer. I would personally say that uh, it might be a bit easier than a lot of people think. So... If you are uh, thinking about creating a website, I would say go for it. I mean, only good things will come from it. It's very fun to have. And yeah, if you want to check out my current website, you can head over to blog.isec.me. This is a new blog I created. It's currently not really active. I don't. I haven't written anything yet on the blog section, but I have some uh, technical articles, you could say, where I show off some code and stuff. And yeah, feel free to check it out. I'll link it in the description. And if you have any questions, comment them below. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.